What is compost? Compost is a pile of green organic matter, like food, garden waste, or manure, that has been mixed with brown organic matter, such as leaves, straw, or wood chips. Over time, the compost pile decomposes or breaks down into soil. Billions of tiny creatures help with this breakdown, including worms and fungus, and bacteria. Compost is very rich in nutrients and can be used in gardens and fields to grow crops and to heal soil. And why should we compost? Compost helps our world so it doesn't be all just loaded with trash. Garbage doesn't get used like compost does because garbage goes into a big pile wherever that is. These piles are called landfills. When you throw your food into the garbage, this is where it ends up. Landfills seriously affect our planet's air and our water. When sent to a landfill, leftover food, also known as food scraps, will produce a gas called methane. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that goes into our air and contributes to global warming in a big way. Greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat in our atmosphere and warm up our planet. Hotter temperatures can lead to melting ice caps, rises in sea level, and animals losing their homes. There is a lot of water in food. And when food scraps are put into the landfill, the water from the food combines with all the other items in the landfill to create a toxic sludge called leachate. Leachate can leak into groundwater and get into our rivers and lakes, harming the creatures that live there and dirtying the water that we drink or swim in. When we compost our food scraps, instead of sending them to the landfill, we reduce both the amount of methane and leachate created. But also, we conserve space in our limited landfills. In short, composting is much better for our planet. A closed food cycle is created by keeping food scraps out of the landfill. Food is grown, eaten, and then the food scraps are composted back into the soil to grow more food. So where do you put your food scraps? We put it in the compost buckets. They say compost only on them so people know to not put anything else in. Source separation is very important. That means keeping food scraps in a container by themselves. At your school, there will be a bucket to put food scraps specifically. It's very important to keep everything separated into the proper containers. For example, trash goes into the trash can and dishes go back to the kitchen. What goes in the compost bucket? You can put in carrots, apple cores, lettuce, cucumbers and tomatoes, orange, this, watermelon, strawberries, pizza and stromboli, ice cream, fish. You can also compost any of these. Meat and bones, eggs and eggshells, cheese, milk and other dairy products, bread, flour and pasta, butter, oils and fats, nuts and nutshells, soup and sauces, seafood and shells. Basically, anything that you can eat can go in the compost bucket. Some schools also have compostable napkins and dishes that can go in the compost bucket. Ask your teacher if you use these at your school. What does not go in the compost bucket? You cannot put plastic in compost. You cannot put milk cartons in the compost. You can't put in napkins. Metal cans, glass jars, paper plates. That's silverware. Watering cans. <laughs> and don't forget to peel the little PLU stickers off of your fruit. Remember to check with your school, but in general, if it isn't food, it cannot be composted. So, no plastic, no paper, no metal, no wood, and no glass of any kind. So, what happens to the food scraps once they leave the school? All the tiny compost buckets, they'll empty out into a big compost bucket that goes in the compost truck that goes to compost. The food scraps leave the school and head to a compost facility where they are blended and made into compost. They sit for a year and turn into dirt, made out of food. We've come a long way from the lunchroom, and now that the compost is made, what can compost be used for? Grows grass. Compost turns into flour. 
compost it can help your family grow vegetables. The compost helps grow food so you can grow taller or smaller. How you grow smaller? And that's it. It's just one big food cycle. Composting closes the loop on our food system, creating a healthy, harmonious, and sustainable system for all of us to thrive. Thanks for watching. Thank you for composting.